Welcome to Cranford Street Garage, located next door to the Caltex. Um, yes, I started when I was um, 15 in an apprentice shop, and, 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 um, and I've been here ever since, so uh, since 96 anyway. <laughs> um, um, we came here in 1996, um, bought the business to move Rose's Auto Electric into as well. We thought it was a good combination, um, mechanical and electrical. I've been working here just uh, seven and a half years um, and yeah, but, um, never had, had any serious issues here, it's been good. So, yeah. I've been understanding when I've had family problems with a couple of family losses and that sort of thing. And if, if you need a time off, that's very, been very helpful. So we do the wheel alignment and um, brake machining. We've got all that brake side of it. We're all into the automatics and diagnostics and, um, and servicing, most important servicing. I started working with my dad when I was about five. Paid <laughs> <laughs> employment, ah, oh, that would have been probably about Angus's age, about nine or ten. Yeah, yeah, five dollars a week, I think it was. My first apprentice um, in the mechanical side, um, we trained up as now the former, um, Jason. So, um, so he's. Jason Cullum is, um, is doing well, doing, doing a good job. Uh, here full time, been about 1997. Yeah, yeah. And then serious full time, that was university. And then serious full time would have been um, 2001. Yeah, after travelling to London, coming back, didn't know what I wanted to do, so. Dad said you're working here. <laughs> he made my mind up for me. I've always maintained the people that work for me um, are part of my family and we all are working together. Family run business and, and they do treat everyone as family, so yeah. Now my son's in, in it, um, managing it. Um, I'm now just sweeping the floors and the lights. <laughs> uh, it probably would have been about 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and, then, and then sort of handed a lot of the foreman work over to Jason. And um, now it's mainly admin and accounting for me. So I've got one part-time uh, car groomer, she comes in a couple of days a week, yeah. and one full time doing warrant fitnesses. Um, of course Chris, myself, four, four technicians, and Vicky in the office, yeah, so eight, yeah, total. That was a, a, a Christmas present um, uh, from my son Angus, and he, uh, he loves going out on the boat, he loves hunting with his dad and, and uh, yeah, so that was his, his painting for me. Uh, he mainly comes over here uh, at the moment to go on the computer and, and, and raid the, uh, the, the lollies downstairs, the <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> but yeah, no, he likes working on cars as well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and a 17 year old daughter, so a wee bit of an age gap. She's an artist, <laughs> artistic street, yeah. I've trained um, six of my family through the girls through the office. Uh, for them, they've gone to better things. And um, uh, so, you know, it has been really good that way. Yeah, we're going into a new, uh, a new, um, 
phase of the motor trade and that's um, the electrical side. Um, we've got um, Ben uh, who has been trained in the electrical um, hybrid uh, with Kia and uh, so Kia and Hyundai and he's um, very good at the diagnostics and um, that side of it. So we're preparing for that and putting the, the men through training to cope with the oncoming electrical cars. Uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think it's a good thing. Uh, they still need batteries and tyres and warrant witnesses, as you say. Um, so yeah, it's, it's exciting for us to train some technicians up on hybrids. And the changes are a wee bit mind-blowing to me. Um, I wouldn't have thought when I started my automotive industry that I would be seeing possibly the, the petrol engine going um, with the new hybrids and the electric vehicles. Uh, I didn't think I'd see it in my life, but I'm definitely going to. Uh, it's going to be a challenge for the younger ones um, that are coming into it because you, it's just a, have a totally different way of um, propelling a motor vehicle. Uh, you, you don't have all the, the same amount as moving parts. Everything's now electronic. You don't have to adjust things yourself. It's all done electronically because they put their own board computers and that sort of thing. It's definitely the way to go. I do agree with it. Um, but I can see it affecting the industry. It's going to have to be a specialised industry. Uh, yeah. Uh, our work ethic within Cranford Street Garage is a, you know, a, it's an honest. Um, so anything that needs doing to your vehicle, we'll let you know. Um, anything that doesn't need doing, we'll also let you know. <laughs> yeah. So and, and a, yeah, and, and a cost. And of course, it's all always up to the customer. So yeah, and that's why people get coming back is because we we give them an honest review of their car. Yeah. Mm.